Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing about what are the various test data generation techniques. What are the different ways we can use to generate a test data in any software testing projects. Before we try to understand what are the various way we generate the test data. First, we'll try to understand what is all about test data. This is a very critical aspect in any software testing project. Test data is very crucial and test data is very much required to test the application functionality. Without test data, we cannot test any application functionality because without data, we don't know what to validate as well. In real time, testing the real application would require huge test data with various combination to test the application whether it works properly or not. Then we will try to understand how to create the test data. The creation of test data is very crucial aspect. How we normally create the test data is one is just pulling the data from the production environment and mask it and use it for our testing purpose or creating our own uh, test data for the testing purpose. There are various ways we can generate the test data. I'm going to talk about four ways we can create a test data in this video. First one is creating a test data completely manually. This process is very complex where individual tester who is having expertise in a particular application, they will be creating the test data. Without having a proper knowledge, without having a proper domain expertise, it is very difficult to create a very good test data. And creating this kind of test data, literally a time consuming one and requires more effort will be required to have more tester to create this test data. Second method of creating a test data is creating the test data completely using in automated way. We can generate completely using the tools to generate the test data. This method gives the best result. Whenever you are trying to automate certain things, definitely we get the best results without uh, much error. We can create as many number of uh, test data using this automated way. There are various tools available in the market which we can use to create the test data. One is Selenium we can use or other APIs we can use to create the test data for our testing. In order to create the test data in a more automated way requires a huge skill set and also the cost is also little, little higher compared to a manual method. Then the third way of creating a test data is backend injection. In this method, we can generate the data using backend techniques. So backend technique means we have a backend database is there. What we do is we will generate a lot of queries there. We create the lot of queries and we will try to get the data by writing lot of SQL queries and we will try to pull the data. That data will be used for our testing. This method is very simple and very quickly you can do it. But in order to pull the data, whichever is required for our testing is very challenging one. Without having a right domain expertise, without having an application knowledge, and without knowing what are the different tables are there, without, without uh, knowing proper table structure, database structure, it is not possible to do this kind of uh, test data creation using backend injection. Fourth method is creating a test data using commercial tools which are easily available in the market such as EMS data generator, Datamatics data generator, DTM data generator and Makarov. These are the four different ways we can really create the test data. I am hoping you guys got a clear idea how to create the test data. What are the various ways you can create the test data for your software projects. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed, then do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.